Hello, everybody. So today we're going to be taking a look at this Samsung Galaxy SCR01 5G Pocket Wi-Fi. So I was looking around for a new Pocket Wi-Fi. I used to have this uh, Globe one, which only is uh, being able to connect to 4G network. And the speed is just not enough for, for what I do. So this one, I'm only getting around uh, 30, 20 megabits per second uh, download and around uh, 7 to 10 megabits per second uh, upload. So when I was uh, shopping around in Shopee and Lazada, I saw this uh, Samsung Galaxy 5G Parker Wi-Fi. And apparently this is just being sold in Japan. So I got this around 150 US dollars, which is around 8,000 Philippine pesos, I believe. So you know, please uh, take a look at the, the online and see if there's actually the, the prices vary. So there are some that are uh, even selling this for two hundred dollars, so I got this one without a a box. All right, so okay, so let's let's take a look at the the build quality. As you can see, it looks like a a smartphone, but oh, it's 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 around the size of a typical iPhone. All right, so actually the build quality is surprisingly very good. So here is the back of it. It's a rugged finish. Like it's a stripe rugged rough finish. Okay, so it also supports a USB-C, which is a good thing, because most of the pocket Wi-Fi's that I saw are uh, only uh, their their port is a micro USB, or I'm sorry, micro, yeah, micro USB, and this one is Type C. All right, and here we could see on the above is the SIM card tray, which supports a nano SIM card. And let's uh, take a look at uh, on the inside the software. All right. Okay, so as you can see, very simple interface, clock, date, and there's a handy calendar at the bottom. So you swipe from bottom to up. Okay, so here it shows you your your typical information. So uh, a month worth of data usage, uh, three days. There's also the signal strength. Uh, right now I am just connecting to a 4G because my area does not support 5G and this is uh, device connected so you can connect up to 11 devices. Alright so here is the option for Wi-Fi the communication mode. Alright so this one to be honest, I don't fully understand, uh, but based on my testing, I've used a standard and a plus area. It seems to be not affecting the speed if I choose any one of them. So probably, uh, and this is just a new scenario. Okay, the display, a good thing that this has a dark option. Okay, the power saving mode. All right, so I, I would suggest that you guys just use this one as an optimized mode. So on optimized mode, I uh, most of the time I'm getting the maximum bandwidth, but on the power saving mode, it's like a typical speed that I would get from using this previous device. Okay. All right, so, and also for the people who uh, 
got this for the first time since this one is just currently being sold in Japan you would have to input your APN settings manually so I'm using a GOMO SIM card on this one which is also by Globe so you could put either the internet.globe.com.ph or the gomo.ph uh, either either way works so you can find your APN settings online it's uh, easy so you could use this is an open line device as well so you could use a smart uh, Dito sim as well okay all right so you also have the ability to put this one on landscape mode just click this one and just like that you could put this on your bedside table which here's a net trick here's a stand on the back of it you can see that here let's put that right up and you could use that as a stand right okay okay so for the cons uh the, the only problem i have with this one is i am not able to connect this one with a macbook using the theater option so i am not sure if that is just not supported by the device or just not supported by the macbook i used this previous uh, device without any problems connecting to a theater hotspot directly so direct connection that is the only problem I have with this one so uh, for the last part I will be showing you the speed and please take in mind that the speed that I'm going to be showing you is in, in 4G so the 4G network is I'm getting around 80 megabytes per second upload maximum there so I would assume that if you go to a 5G area it would easily handle 100 megabits uh, 150 megabits per second easily maybe more than that so yeah, that's pretty much it here is the speed test uh, compared to my previous uh, globe pocket Wi-Fi. Enjoy and have a good day.